What's going on everybody? Hey, welcome to another episode of Dig Deeper TV. I've been a content creator here between my two channels. Been doing this for about four years now. But as a YouTube watcher, I've actually been watching for like 10. So I've decided I would create videos this year. Um, people who inspire me, topics that I think are great, and just kind of piggyback off of what already great YouTubers are out there doing. In some ways, I hope that this helps you find channels that I like, that are just worth watching, and hopefully I can find a way to dig deeper into how they addressed it. So now the topic today is how to smash that like button. Today I want to talk to you about YouTube's Graham Stephan. Somebody I followed for quite some time. Definitely encourage you to. This guy's really smart, funny, transparent. Has given me some good inspiration for my future goal. So specifically, I want to talk about a video that he did. What he made in 2018 off of YouTube. So for those of you that don't know, Graham Stephan is 27 years old. About 10 years deep into being a real estate agent. Highly successful there. But he's also a landlord of six properties. And a content creator. 326,000 subs to date. So he gives this breakdown of all of the income that, he, that comes from YouTube in some sense. Or... Uh, just his internet presence. Money's aside from him being a landlord and him being a real estate agent. Just all of that side money that I've been trying to talk to you guys about, trying to get on my own path. So check this out. It stunned me. I uh, couldn't even believe it. YouTube ad revenue, at the time he did this, was a couple days prior to the end of the year. He was at $149,000. Check this picture out. Uh, he expected 165 by the time the year closed because December was just popping. Uh, he has a real estate academy, and for those who don't know, you can have uh, a teachable account. And basically, another side revenue is if you're knowledgeable on subject matter, you've got followers, likely uh, some people will want to be your student. So from his real estate academy in 2018, he made $79,000. He mentioned the speaking engagements. He did five of them, made 13 grand off of that. Consulting, he made approximately 10,000 for the year. A uh, hair over 1,000 for his Amazon affiliate links whenever he would put those in. This brought a grand total of $253,000 uh, with a couple days left to go. It said he could have made about 270 by the end. First of all, I wanted to thank Graham for his transparency as a YouTube watcher for a long time. Not a lot of YouTubers out there have been willing to put this up, show their monetization page, and be completely clear with everybody that they're broadcasting to how much it is that they make doing it. So this sparked some interest in me, obviously, and I wanted to share this with you. Hopefully it invokes something in you, but imagine all this side revenue was just your yearly income. I think that this would be an upgrade. It would be for me. Most likely it would be for you. On top of this side revenue, by the way, he probably found a way to make another three or 500000 this year. I know that he's pretty established as an agent at this point. Basically, 2018... There's not a shot in hell this guy didn't make $500,000. The first thing that this made me think about was how you can be great at something, or you could have gotten that job that was that steady path that everybody was encouraging you to go. But limiting yourself from these side streams of revenue, proving more and more that that's what the future demands of people, is to have multiple lines of income. If you're out there and you, you make videos or you're thinking about making YouTube videos, yes, the track is a very long time. Yes, I'm somebody who's been doing this for three or four years, not consistently by the way, and I haven't found a way to monetize just yet. It's the quality of the content that I put out, it's the fact that I wasn't consistent and I didn't truly uh, build a subscriber base who was um, active enough to check out every following video that I put out there. But if you're not trying and, and all you do is is your primary job, um, your, your pri you know, you, you stick to your career and Lord willing I keep my career forever and that continues to grow during the 8 to 5 for me but what are you doing out there if you have no other if it's only just the one stream of income in your life have, have you not heard from enough people yet here I am to tell you you're missing out I'm missing out we're all missing out okay the fact that this guy does this for fun 
that the the numbers that he that I put right there was out of pure hobby for him in addition to a very well paying career listen this is just to open your mind about what it is that you could be doing and what your cash flow looks like i'm going to go towards this path i i want to follow in his footsteps and i'd like to figure out what it is that i can teach the people and unlock my true creative ability to create that content that people are going to watch and want to sink their teeth into. I will always and forever be seeking ways to develop the side streams of income, and so should you. So here's a little bit about what mine looks like, right? So I have my primary career in commercial collections. If you know anybody that owes you money, I can help you. I work at Outback Steakhouse as a server and a bartender. I started my deck staining business last year. I uh, got a couple customers under my belt. I now run an eBay store. I uh, just had things that I wanted to sell on top of I found things that I wanted to flip. And then there's uh, booking booking bands. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy playing agent and, and helping out in, in the music direction. But it is not enough streams of revenue, one, and two, they're not developed enough yet. Simply, I, I just can't. Towards the end of Graham's video, he started breaking down these daily days. He's like, I remember when I started, you know, here's where I was making a couple bucks a day. Here's where I was still kind of slow. I was making a hundred, two hundred dollars a day. Like, hello, that's the number we're looking for, right? Give me a hundred bucks a day. We'll all figure out how to survive, right? Hundred, twenty, two hundred dollars here. I'm gonna start building five, six hundred here, and then December I was making a thousand to fifteen hundred per day, and it, it, it makes you wonder, man, if I had my side streams of income all generating and just growing and headed in the right direction uh, without stopping or interfering with each of them. I mean, the the path is all the way up, right? Uh, you know, just exponentially as you continue to invest and make sure that each of these things are working, um, that you're doing the right things to keep it growing, keep it going. Uh, man, it's just... So if you haven't opened your mind, if you're somebody that's um, reliant on the one method of getting paid or perhaps you're just thinking about how to better your financial uh, situation. I hope that you look to uh, Graham Stephan's picture here. Um, obviously, none of this comes uh, very easily, but he just happened to be an interesting person, uh, a young, real successful real estate agent, um, and just, you know, magnetizing it as a personality you have to wonder what is it that I'm doing or what is it that I haven't tapped into yet uh, to to make my path exponential upwards I think this is all up to you and I hopefully I open your mind um, I'd like to dig a little deeper into what I've made with my past business pursuits what I like as far as passive income opportunities and just what it is that I, I need to work on please share this process with you anyway i hope you're aiming for upward mobility for 2019 and working with me to find out what it is that you can do to up your passive income and your your future income potential just in the field that you're in do me a favor smash that like button Give me a subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, and so should you. You should be trying to get to a thousand subscribers. That's that's what it takes to start your AdSense uh, account. And I just um, my first channel, I just had issues. I think I'm reworking it, so I may go back to the Dig Deeper Network channel. Um, but I know for sure Dig Deeper TV is where this is going first. Eventually, it'll get moved over there. Um, I've got 500 subs and, you know, just already planted the seed and grew it to a fair amount uh, before I gave it up. So maybe that's where things go. I will keep you posted. Anyway, if you can do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Dig Deeper TV with your boy Cody. Uh, check you next time.